Let's talk about the fact that EA has given up gameplay and information on a Hyper-V, a hyper-motion technology, and 2K hasn't given us any gameplay or any information into pro play. That doesn't, it just doesn't sit well right now. I feel slighted. You know, I know, I know everything about hypermotion that I need to know. And I know I'm guessing when it comes to pro play in 2K, I don't feel like that's good marketing. We could have did better marketing this. Like, cause just hearing about hypermotion V had me being like, bruh, I want to play FIFA next year. I might want to play FIFA and see what that'd be like. Y'all might get a FIFA gameplay out your boy. You might get a let's play a walkthrough or something because I mean, the fact that the game comes out a whole three weeks later than 2K and we got more information for the game feel like and the information that we got for the game actually makes me want to play the game. So I'm pretty sure it would have been a really good marketing strategy for 2K to come out the box, let everybody know in depth with gameplay what pro, pro play is about exactly what it is and give us an in-depth analysis and they probably would have got a lot of casual players who don't buy the game every year to go ahead and pre-order that $60 game Toasty. you know I mean that's just easy because I mean okay if if I'm doing the analysis right I'm a casual when it comes to FIFA and seeing that FIFA 24 trailer made me say to myself oh I like this it looks like candy I might want to try this out so i'm sure that casuals at 2k would have definitely had the same mindset sports-minded people who see the commercial and might be like hey i want to try this out might want to go see what that be like i mean either way either way at at either extent we need gameplay hopefully we get some gameplay out and we get some explanation some explanation excuse me on pro play so that we can stop mulling it over between the community and we can go ahead and you know get a good advertisement of what we're gonna be involved with i mean obviously well okay let me not say obviously um ipod king carter you can go over to his video and see what he's talking about about the pro play thing he went back and forth over it with his ideas on what it could be but me i think that pro play is exactly what hypermotion v is definitely i think it's a definite concrete that that is what pro play will be they have cameras in every stadium in the u.s or around the world i think all of the arenas around the world blah, blah, blah. hey i'm new to this I'm true to this, but I'm new to this. I think that all of the arenas around the world have cameras set up around the whole arena. If you, I'll find footage and maybe insert it here. Cleveland, let's take a look at Intel 360 replay technology. How about this outlet pass here by Kevin Love? I mean, length of the court and LeBron James with the finish here. And they can they can motion track everything in the arena. So I guess, I'm guessing Hyper-V Motion is the same situation where they've, they put that same technology in the Coliseums and in the uh, football arenas. In every sports arena, it should be in every sports arena by now. It's common technology, I believe. I believe it's common technology. So let me not get ahead of myself and, you know, put, stuff out there that I don't know much about because I don't know much about it but what I can say from from my common sense and my mind y'all look I'm new to this I'm, I'm true to this but I'm new to this from my mind's eye I can say common sense wise that hyper motion V and pro play are the same thing they're going to implement those into new video games from here on out all the sports games gonna have them going forward and the technology is gonna be streamlined they can take motion from anywhere basically and give it to you on demand 
So the same technology that they use. So the same technology that they use to motion track in house, they now can just do it in the stadiums, in the arenas, and then bring that to us on demand. And I think that's a really sweet deal. I think that's a really, I mean, common sense, that's a really sweet deal. Let me know if you agree. If you don't agree, hey, hey, let me know what you think it is. What is pro play to you? Because everybody has a different idea of pro play. I've heard some people say that pro play is the equivalent of this clip that this guy made that ended up on ESPN. This clip right here is saucy. Dude put the, you know, his in-game clips with his Jordan clips afterwards, IRL clips, and mixed them together, edited them down real nice. It looks good. Some people believe that that is what pro play is. I'm here to say that is not pro play. I'm here to speculate that pro play is much larger than that. And it is actually motion tracking, in-house motion tracking in the arenas around the United States and the rest of the world. You can bring those motions directly in game. Easy peasy. I think that makes it more clean and keeps it more clean cut for everybody that's involved. I mean, at this point now, players don't have to go down and get motion track they can just get motion tracked in house at practice you know i mean it is what it is 2k nba sends that footage to 2k and now we have it in game yeah but i mean that's that's got to be the just of it bro if if pro play is anything different then paint me a mural you know paint me something different because can't be ain't no way ain't no way it could be anything less than motion v i don't know if i said it first but i said it here if you hear, you heard it. We might run a few more up, but that's the video. Like and subscribe. Uh, be tuned in for more. We we here. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.